Hi guys, hope you're doing good. In this video, we're going to learn about method in Go programming language. We know that Go doesn't have classes, but even though we don't have classes here, we can create methods with the help of types. Here in Go, method is a function with a special receiver argument. Let me give you some example to make you understand how to create and use method in Go programming language. Let me take the important things that is required for any Go programming language. Let me create a struct first. Let's type person and struct. And let me create three datas there. And then let me take phone number. Let's soft type integer. And let me take location. Which is of type string again. Now here let me create a variable for person that is per a person let it be assigned with name uh, then phone number followed by location right and then let me create a function call this func and then say get per now this get per method is going to print all my data which is present inside my struct variable per now i when i create this is a normal function but like if i want to create this function as a method i need to create a special receiver argument right now here there are two types of receiver argument in go programming language one is value receiver another one is pointer receiver two types of receivers one is value receiver another one is pointer receiver now let me create a value receiver to make this function as a method right so to create a value receiver let me put a parenthesis within that i'm going to create a value receiver of type person right now p is a value receiver which is of type person now from here i'll be calling the method get per so when i call this method get per the variable per which is created here for the structure person will be passed on to this value receiver and p will be holding it now here p will be holding to per right and then when i say fmt dot println and i'll say let me try to print the name of the person which is present inside my structure here i'll say per dot name and then i'll say fmt dot println let me print the phone number per dot phone number right and then I'll say fmt dot print ln and let me print the location at the last. I'll say location and I'll say per dot location. Right. Uh, people who have not watched my video on structure because before learning about this uh, method, you should be knowing what is structure. Please go and watch the video on uh, structure which I've mentioned the disc uh, link in the description I just want you to go and watch structure and then come back so that you can understand what I'm doing here clearly Okay, so I think I'm done with it. Let me save this code and run it for you um, One minute I'm sorry. I've given Per instead of P because P is a local variable here P is holding to per so I'll say P dot name uh, That's good. Now. Let me run this code for you I'll say go run method example i'll run this code now whatever input i've given here that is samuel phone number and chennai will be passed on to p that is per is getting passed on whenever a method is called the calling variable per is the calling variable that is getting passed on to p so that like whatever is there stored inside per that is uh, samuel phone number and chennai is getting passed on to p and here I'm just printing everything right now if I want to get input instead of right I'm just storing it here and then doing the work if I want to get the input during runtime so let me create one more method called a set per so I'll say func p person and then create a method called a set per so to create a method you need to create a receiver argument in between the func keyword and the method right now this entire thing becomes method because of this right if i don't have this that becomes a normal function right whenever i want to create a method make sure you're inserting a 
receiver argument in between the func keyword and the function and that becomes a method now here i'm just going to uh, get input right so let me say fmt dot scan and i'll get input i'll say p dot name fmt dot scan p dot phone number fmt dot scan i'll say p dot location all right let me save this and let me try to call the function i think i've called it now when i call the function set per uh, here p will be holding the details of per like as of now per is nothing like it's just a empty right so all the default values the zero values or the default values will be stored for things and when it comes here i'm going to get some input right so let me save it and run it for you before let me clear the screen and run it for you let me get samuel some phone number and then the location now when i print you're getting all the default values or the zero values right now here why it is happening even though i'm getting input here all the inputs are got here but when i come here when i call the function per what is per here it is empty there's nothing here right i am getting input for p not for per right p is a local variable when i come out of this p is going out of scope so when a variable goes out of scope it is no more available outside the method right so when the this variable p is going out of scope and it is no more available whatever input i got with the help of p that will also go out of scope and every value is going out it's no more there it's no more present so what should i do so if i want to hold the value whichever is happening here i need to create a pointer receiver right this is a normal value receiver and there's a pointer receiver so when i create a pointer receiver so here per is getting passed now here when it comes here p will be storing the address of per p will be storing the address of per so when it stores the address of per whatever i am making change to p it means that i am going and affecting the variable per right so when i save this and run it for you let me run this for you let me give the input samuel phone number and then the address now you get the output properly because when it's getting stored it is actually getting stored right whatever input i am getting it is not storing getting stored in the variable p rather it is getting stored in per because p is storing the address or the reference of the variable per so whatever changes that i am doing it for p that is storing in a copy of per so when i say per dot set per it comes here gets the input so the values are getting stored in per not in p and when it comes here i'll say per dot get per it comes here per is getting passed on to p so without any problem when i say p dot name it is the value of per what is the value of the per whatever i input i got here is getting stored in per so that it prints the value without any problem so there are two things as i said one is the value receiver another one is the pointer receiver now what i'm using here is the pointer receiver and what i'm using here is the value receiver right so this pointer receiver or the value receiver makes the function as method right what i use here p person is the value receiver p star person is the pointer receiver right so this receivers receiver arguments makes this function as method fine guys i'm done with this video if you have any doubts or queries please comment in the comment section i'll definitely get back to you if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you very much